Hello, and thank you for tuning in for today's helpful tip. Today we're going to be discussing how you could use Google Earth strategically as a location scouting tool to help you to find a location that fits your needs and to more effectively and efficiently operate your on-location shoots. So check it out. So I meet a photographer who's an amazing photographer. He also happens to be a subscriber of mine. So we started talking and we started talking photography and he starts telling me how he has a shoot and he's going to be doing it in Death Valley of a model and he has this idea in his head of what he wants but he doesn't know where to look in Death Valley and he's concerned that when he gets there uh, he doesn't want to drive all the way out there to check it out before the shoot he can't it's impossible due to um, you know certain circumstances but he doesn't want to go and on the day that he has his model and his crew and everybody to be out there looking for a spot Death Valley is a huge sprawling place he's looking for a very specific idea and he doesn't know exactly where that's going to be within the desert so I gave him very simple uh, yet useful advice, okay? Uh, first thing you do is you decide what it is that you're looking for as far as the landscape, what kind of, you know, is it in an area such as Death Valley? Is it in a certain park? Is it in a certain area? And then what you do is you decide what's important to you. Um, he was looking for seclusion because he's gonna be doing a nude shoot. He's looking for uh, cracked earth because it's just the vision that he has in his mind. And he's looking for somewhere that's close to a road, easy to access, but uh, is secluded so that he doesn't have you know onlookers looking at his uh, nude shoot, making his model uncomfortable or getting in the picture. Basically, he was looking for seclusion, a very specific look, and to be close and easily accessible. Um, with those things in mind, I told him to go on to Google Earth. Once you have all the criteria in mind for what you want uh, your location to be for your shoot, what, you know, what it's going to be used for and what you want it to look like and everything, then it's time to go onto Google Earth and decide um, what area you're looking for. So when you find a general geographic area, then you can look around there and find specific points by zooming in. So when you start off at Google Earth, it looks like a globe in the sky. So there's this globe in the sky and then you zoom in and zoom in and zoom in and you can type in, you know, the, the name of the location such as, um, you know, Death Valley or wherever, wherever you're looking, you can look there and and when you zoom in, as you zoom in, you have to enable uh, Panoramio is one of the options in Google Earth. So by enabling Panoramio, you are able to see pictures that people have posted on Google Earth. I'm a contributor to Panoramio, so I have pictures that are on Google Earth. If you look on Google Earth and you look at these little picture icons, they're normally pictures from a person's perspective. So someone has to be standing on the ground taking these pictures, so they're not pictures from up in the sky. And so when you see the pictures that people have taken, you can get an idea of what's around, what the location looks like, and how well it fits what your desire is. So if you are in any other way, you cannot get out to these locations, such as if you're going on a vacation, you're going some far off land, and you want to find places to shoot, bring up Google Earth, look around, find the most picturesque places, find the places that are going to fit your needs or even inspire you to go there and actually shoot. And so you can use Google Earth as a way to eliminate places. You can go, oh, that place doesn't look like I can get there. doesn't look like it fits my place. The Earth doesn't look right. Everything is not right. So you eliminate. And you start eliminating the places and you narrow it down to the places that you want to shoot, places that you feel will shoot. And then on the day of the shoot, you can get there and easily go directly to where you want to be and then find the angle that you want. So you're becoming more efficient. You're becoming more effective. Your whole crew doesn't have to be there. Your model doesn't have to be there. Or even if it's by yourself, you're not wasting your own personal energy and time uh, and sunlight and wh whatever, all, all the necessary elements that are for the picture, you're, you're preserving them for actually taking pictures. So like I said, it's very simple advice, but it is very powerful. Once again, use Google Earth to scout your locations in order to find the perfect location that fits your vision and other criteria. Uh, Gregory went out, he got some great shots. He found a place that was close to the road. It was, it was everything that he wanted. It had the cracked earth, it was you know secluded, it was easy to get to, and it worked out for his pictures. Here are some of his pictures right now. Uh, they're great, they're amazing. Gregory, you did a great job. Uh, I hope one day we can shoot together or collaborate on something because I think that would be awesome. So anyhow, thank you all for watching. It was great having you again, and I'll be putting up more videos, so subscribe and like and tell your friends, and just continue to be awesome, okay? I love you. Farewell.